taped off where I'm going to be cutting out a hole. This AC unit is 16 inches. So 16 inches somewhere in here. So this is actually 20 and about a half, right? So let's see, I'd have to mark this in about the halfway point. So that'd be 20 and a quarter, not 20 and a quarter, sorry, 10 and a quarter. So at 10 and a quarter, I'll mark the halfway point. And then uh, since I know this is 16, I will go from the halfway point eight, in, uh, eight inches both directions. Then I'll figure out how far I wanna go down here. One thing that this has is a bump. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it right here. This is a little bit of a bump. It's doubled up a little bit, so it's a little stronger. I want to put that sort of close to this channel, and so that way I can screw it in from the, the channel into it. At least I hope that'll work out. And this is maybe a maybe a half inch between these two pieces here. So there'll be a piece of wood in front. And so anyway, I'm going to be cutting that out, sliding it in, testing it out, seeing if it kind of works. I know that everyone talks about needing a drain pan, so I'm probably going to have to figure out how I want to do a drain pan in here. using a big fat marker. <laughs> Once you cut it and you put some trim on it, it's not gonna matter anyway. Two inches, two inches down. Two inches down ought to do it. More tape. So I'm putting in some wood chunks here that will go on the sides. Then in the middle here is where I'm going to clean it up a little bit. But I have this tray that actually has a drain pipe out of it. This came out of the ice box over there and there's still an extra trailer. There's still an extra one in there. So I really don't know what I'm going to do with that anyway. So this has a drains port. I'm going to put a drill a hole right there and just put it right through it and then put this like so inside and it'll drop down because, well, the hose is holding it up right now. Then I need to bring up another spacer piece here and one right back there. We put a piece of the flooring on top of this thing. It'll drip off there, hopefully. I'm not really sure how this thing works exactly on the dripping pan. All right, she's in there. On the top of this, this is the bracket that I'm gonna attach back on the. T this is the bracket I'm gonna attach back on here. Has a screw here and one here. I want it to kind of stay put. <laughs> and that looks like it leaves a lot of room in the back. That's where I'm gonna put my new vent. And then I cut out some of the uh, insulation stuff so I can put a vent on the side. Although we'll see what happens with that. I taped off like the instructions and taped off the warning, <laughs> why not? And taped off the thing on the bot up top. And then I'm just respray painting it because it was yellowed.
good about recording these things. I kind of forget to record them as I'm doing them. Anyway, there's some butyl tape I have behind this thing, and I'm trying to get it right now attached to the side, so it's going to be tight as I can get it. One vent on the top sucks it in, air. Another one on the outside blows it out. Actually, I actually have two vents here for blowing it back out. This one and this one. The only thing I don't have is a good bug support. Air conditioner running in my garage to see how well it works, but also it's freaking hot. 